if you've ever been out prospecting at any time in your career and been fooled by pyrite thinking it was gold, go ahead and smash that uh, subscribe button. And here we're going to dig into today on how to more consistently find gold nuggets when you go out into the field. Yep. In this one, we're going to talk about what's the best way for you guys to find gold nuggets more consistently. And it's going to be East Coast centric. Um, so let's dig into it. And we'll show a little bit of this is all gold that I've found on the East Coast in the past since 2014. And I haven't gone a year without finding a nugget. Um, so they're, they're out there. They just take a bit to find. Um, but there's a number of things you can do to get yourself in a better position to find them consistently. Um, and the best way to go about that generally is to do your research and get yourself in places one where they've been found before and two is near known gold sources um and as you can see here a lot of these are very very uh crunchy and crispy and that's pretty uh pretty normal for a lot of east coast gold compared to west coast where it's much more plasterified and rounded there's a number of reasons for that that we're going to go into that deal with this subject here. Um, yeah, take a look at that piece there. I mean, it's, it's an awesome little piece, but these guys are... You can see there's a hole in this one. I mean, just super crunchy granola. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to dig into it here and kind of look at some maps and some other stuff and go over what's going to help you get on some gold nuggets quicker. Uh, so, yep, let's dig into her. Okay, so let's dig into some of the stuff on how to find gold nuggets more consistently on the East Coast. Um, and once again, I said research to this is key, and here's part of the reason for it. So in this paper, this is uh, gold deposits within the James River Basin, which is dealing with Virginia. But Virginia is going to be Fair, the Virginia gold region is fairly synonymous with the rest of the South Atlantic gold zones that are within the Piedmont province. Um, and if we read here, it basically says the placer deposit, their placer gravels of Virginia are limited to the immediate vicinity of the vein deposits from which they are derived, and nowhere do they cover large areas. Um, says much of the plaster gold is coarse and this together with the comparative roughness indicates that it has not traveled far uh, and that's very important to know um, the branches have frequently been reported to be richest near the veins and none of them have been worked for any great distance below the lowest known veins usually less than a mile so what this tells you for East Coast gold particularly from Maryland down to Georgia, Alabama, is that if you want to find nuggets and coarse gold, you should be source hunting. Since none of these mines usually extended more than a mile below the nearest source. Um, with the coarsest gold generally going to be right up close to the vein. And that's why, since I started prospecting, I primarily hunt sources even though I plaster mine <laughs> um, and metal and nugget shooters and metal detectorists I think kind of get this a little more a lot of times because they're looking for nuggets pretty much predominantly but as guys who are working plaster deposits this is something you really should look at and as you're doing your research and trying to figure out places to go and get permission you want to be looking for those areas that get you closest to the source. Um, and I'm going to go through some examples here shortly using LIDAR to show you that none of these mines usually extended very far. They're very localized right up on the source. Um, and that's where I focus all my dredging and other stuff is 
usually where these streams or rivers are crossing potential veins and sources. And that's generally why I've been able to consistently get nuggets every year. <laughs> my buddies like to joke that I got a golden horseshoe stuck up my ass. <laughs> um, and even though they're dredging the same spot, some of it's luck. But uh, once you get to that general location, but you got to put yourself in the right location if you want to find those nuggets. Um, and they definitely exist on the East Coast. When people say, oh, the East Coast, is it's mainly fine gold. I Usually 50% of the weight of my gold is in nuggets per year. Um, so yeah, okay, let's take a look at some LiDAR, LiDAR images here and go over some examples of this stuff. Okay guys, so here we are looking at some LiDAR um, of a mine area and this is, this is also the reason why the strike and dip of stuff really comes into play on the past couple videos that I've done and I'll put links in the, in the description below for those. But here you can see there's actually vein trends. So this is a vein trend running right here. And you can usually tell by their exploration trenches and then the digging they've done on them. So that's the hard rock sources. And there's like three, there's three vein trends going through this area from everything I've done. And as you see, the placer mining in these little valleys starts here. And it works its way down and around. And this is another vein trend cutting here. But as we come downstream further, you'll see the placer mining, the placer working start to slack off as we get further and further away um, to the point where I don't see them much past this point here. So let's take a measurement on that um, and just see what that distance is. So from this source crossing here, which I believe is the lowest source known for this particular one, Let's see how far these workings extend downstream. 1.17 miles, which holds very consistent with what that old uh, geology of the James River Basin uh, paper said that I also put a link in the bottom. Um, so generally, as, as you get further and further away from the source, the gold will become less and less. And the biggest gold is pretty much always going to be stuck right up around the main sources. Um, so if I were hunting this area with a dredge or panning or high banker, I would be focusing on this section of stream right here and this whole section right through here where this would have sloughed off down in. Um, so I believe this would be the better spot and more consistent. Now, if I was metal detecting for gold nuggets, I would be working the hill slopes down from these old workings because those are open pit stuff right on the vein. Um, so this is one example here. And you can see these sources come up and there's placer workings starting there. But generally, yep, they don't go more than a mile below the source with your biggest nuggets going to be up on it. Um, let's take a look at another example. Okay guys, so on to the next example here. And this is actually in Uari National Forest, North Carolina, which I know a lot of you Carolina guys like to go dig at. Um, this is just another good example of where you can see with the LIDAR where they traced and found a probable source up in the hillside placer work and everything below it but you see that the placer heaviest placer work is right below where the probable hard rock source is and then as you go further and further down I can still see placer here placer here placer here once you hit this point it seems to peter out and that's not a very far distance at all um, and let's take a measurement on that so if we go from here to there 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 Like less than a half a mile and their placer workings seem to peter to nothing at this specific mine. Um, so with that, if I was focusing on this area and looking specifically for nuggets, I would be working up and around these, the main workings right near where the probable source is going to be. So throughout Uari, and the south southeast coast gold areas in general 
the plaster workings don't extend much further, very far past the veins. You can see that here with these two. We've got workings, hard rock comes down and it stops about there. Um, same vein trend here, play crosses in both spots. It does not extend far. So if you are wanting to find nuggets, just going out to random stream areas um, that you have access to is not. Now I'm not saying you couldn't find an undiscovered source that produces nuggets and stuff, but it's much slimmer chances than if you gain access to these areas where there are known sources that produce the gold. The closer you can get to them, the better chance of finding bigger gold you have because that bigger gold will not have migrated very far from the source. Um, and I've seen this time and time again throughout the mines in Virginia um, and North Carolina seems to hold true and I'm sure Alabama and Georgia and South Carolina do as well from all the LIDAR that I've looked at in those states the workings never extend very far past where the vein hard rock sources are. So whenever you see me in any of my videos here like you're seeing out dredging and prospecting and like finding some nice coarse or chunky gold I'm, I'm in those spots and in those general areas for very specific reasons and that's mainly due to I know there's gold bearing sources nearby whether it be from a known mine that's right there or if I've done some correlation and extending of known veins into new areas that have then actually turned out to produce good gold. Um, I've done this a number of times in many different areas throughout Virginia and been able to make it produce nuggets for me and of like pretty much every county I've prospected in and dredged in in Virginia I have found gold nuggets in those counties using this method of getting as close to the gold sources as I possibly can um, and putting in that research and legwork to do that. Um, so, yeah. So, in summary, if you're on the East Coast, specifically the South Atlantic region from Maryland down to Alabama, and you want to start getting on more consistent gold and bigger gold, your best best thing to do is try and source hunt. Um, so basically get as close to those load sources as you can because pretty much all the placer mines in that region are tied very closely to their hard rock sources and those placer areas won't extend very far past the veins, usually no more than a mile or two. Um, so that's what I highly recommend if you want to start finding some bigger gold and everything and get on it more consistently. Um, and if you want to start learning more about how to find gold better and watching some of these adventures and stuff, you can always like, share, and subscribe my channel. And that always helps us here to produce more and better, more content. Um, and we will keep at it. And we'll see you out there.